What is up, Theta homies? It is your boy, Justin Pacetti, back again with another Theta Token video, another Theta Token update. Just a friendly reminder, if you're new to the channel, trying to find as much Theta news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of Theta partnerships, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out all the links down below in the description for all the links I post in this video, along with my Imagine Replay referral link if you are trying to earn as much TNT20 token, especially on the Theta blockchain. In addition to my Theta Guardian node, if you're trying to stake your Theta tokens, as well as my elite edge node if you're trying to stake your t-fuel earn rewards help out the theta network ecosystem help out my channel and overall help you earn more passive income with t-fuel earnings so i'll put all those qr codes here that you may see here as well as down below in the description the actually the summary page for those qr codes so whichever is easier if you want to copy and paste it as you can tell if you go onto the nodes itself you can see how many people have staked and i'm proud to announce that there's almost a hundred thousand theta tokens on that theta guardian node so we're almost there if you want to be those members of the channel that helps out to build up to that the hundred thousand worth please definitely comment down below or just stake whichever is easier for you guys i appreciate everyone participating in helping out the network and my channel as well that's a long introduction so now diving onto the explorer page we'll go on to the actual price in the making of this video and then go on to the news the current price of theta is at that dollar 10 mark as well as t fuel at that four cent mark and t drop at that point zero zero twenty six mark so of course we'll just keep an eye on the price i never really do price predictions on my channel if you guys want to put something down below in the comment section as to where you see where theta will be at the end of quarter one of 2024 you are more than welcome to i really try not to do or look too far out ahead that's just my personal preference because i personally just don't think anyone will know where the market will go going on to the news now we're going to start on x seen here jordan bain posts film three legit fixes this i believe this is dakota johnson she's a pretty well known actress saying it's really effing bleak in the industry it's a majority disheartening the people who run streaming platforms don't trust creative people or artists to know what's going to work and that's just going to make us implode just increasing this a little bit more it's really heartbreaking it's just effing so hard it's hard to get anything made everyone who makes decisions is afraid they want to do the safe thing and the safe thing is really boring because from what i've seen especially with commercials or even the movies that are actually coming out now you'll notice it's kind of the same thing in the last couple of decades so the last 10 years or so it's been the same material and you'll see sequels you'll see the third installation maybe the fourth installation in some cases so that's just my own opinion and it seems like it's reaching out to the stars and the actors and actresses who are either voicing characters playing characters it's kind of outplayed so it looks like this is the direction where filmmakers are unfortunately stuck in and it looks like where theta network is building their platform will be for the new creators of film industry so it's going to incorporate for more creative thinkers actors actresses and just bring out a new filmmaking type of opportunity for those who want to create this art continuing on we're going to see here as well congrats to theta network Michelou and andrea berry for this partnership from all these individuals for the first flights pro and moving film three needle we'll definitely dive into this a little bit more so bear with me mitch Liu will even post welcoming the next era of film funding and distribution web3 powered by the community and indie filmmakers hashtag film three going on to this as well seen first flights a pioneer in supporting emerging independent film talent has joined forces with theta to empower the next generation of filmmakers read all about it in the exclusive release blog down here and going on before that to Andrea's post, the new partnership alert, the first flights and data labs partner to empower the next gen of filmmakers. So of course, we're going to dive into the medium article. It says about a three minute read. So we'll roughly brush onto the highlights and the things I think that are worth mentioning. But also, like I said in the earlier part of the video, that all the links down below are in the description. So if you want to check all that out, in case you don't think there's enough time for what I'm showing, all those links are down there below so you can guys do your own research to stay knowledgeable in what is happening with the theta space and while you're there if you don't mind please hit that like and subscribe button if you have not yet going on here to the article seen right here it was posted about on february 15th of 2024 the first flights and theta labs partner to empower the next gen of filmmakers so like i said about a four minute read but we won't read it into too much we do understand the new era of film funding and distribution how there's going to be an issue with that in terms of the creators filmmakers and actors there's been a discrepancy between the two that's the reason why i believe film three and theta is going to incorporate to break down that wall so that everything is transparent for everyone to earn the right amount of money and income for the work that they are doing that is 
based on my knowledge and from what I remember. If there's anything else you want to add to that, definitely comment down below as well. First Flights is an innovative platform designed to empower emerging filmmakers by providing them with a resource to support needed to bring their created visions to life. In the span of three years, it has built a network of over 15,000 filmmakers, and through its short film fund, First Flights has successfully funded 16 projects and further supported five additional projects through its tax relief program. The initiative's success is highlighted by the critical acclaim its supportive film receives, including Oscar and BAFTA awards. In partnership with Goldfinch, First Flights has been instrumental in launching the careers of 13 debut directors, showcasing its commitment to nurturing new talent in the film industry. The short film fund and launchpad for aspiring filmmakers in 2024 edition of first flights short film fund has opened unprecedented opportunities for filmmakers offering up to ten thousand dollars in funding alongside premiering opportunities on theta web 3 theater powered by theta's decentralized video infrastructure participation in this fund provides creators with an ff3 badge acting as a key to exclusive screenings events workshops and even additional chance to win $1,000 in funding toward distribution and marketing costs for winning films. This secures the necessary financial backing and ensures a dedicated audience for the film's release. To claim these benefits, filmmakers must redeem their FF3 badge on Theta Drop, integrating them in further in the first flights and Theta ecosystem. So if we may have remembered, I believe Film 3 also incorporated their Theta Drop launch for those who wanted to participate in that event. So I feel like there's a, some sort of fusion between that and to what is happening here with this new partnership with First Flights. That is what I am able to guess based on what I'm reading with you guys. Just ending this whole entire article with that summary, a bright future for filmmakers. This partnership between First Flights and Theta Labs represents a significant milestone for Film 3 movement, easing the challenges of film funding and distribution evolution. By embracing Web3 technology, this initiative democratizes access to resources, protection, and visibility for filmmakers, thereby fueling innovation and diversity in the cinematic arts. Through this collaboration, First Flights becomes a pivotal reference for aspiring filmmakers, whether Web3 natives or not, to embark on their journey into Web3. At the same time, Theta Network consolidates itself as a preferred choice for artists ranging from large studios to indie filmmakers looking to integrate new solutions to enhance their works. For aspiring filmmakers dreaming of bringing their stories to life and sharing them to the world, the journey begins here. Welcome to the new era of film funding and distribution. So it's very inspiring for those who want to go into this type of field and it's nice having that sort of area where it's going to be supported and funded at least appropriately based on what is here and fairly not but just want to include that for those independent filmmakers who are having difficulties trying to start up their own projects and things like that it looks like theta network has become a resource for them to utilize their vision and express it and actually showcase it so that's something i feel like that is a stepping stone for theta i feel like people who have commented in the last few videos are just a little upset in terms of why aren't they going for a bigger network bigger companies things like that i feel like that has to be demonstrated on a smaller platform before it can be adopted onto a bigger one because it's hard to just top out the old platform for example an old system and just incorporate a new one i feel like that's a higher chance of failure I feel like it has to start smaller so to build that type of progression to demonstrate this works it's going to be here for a long time and here is other ways that they can be implemented onto the bigger corporations projects so that's just me definitely comment down below what you guys think about what this entails for theta network and current partnerships and future partnerships just want to see what you guys think about it as well but overall that's the entirety of this article and just ending this video on a little bit more of a fun note seeing here the seg3 the sports entertainment and gaming conference that was i believe in la this last time yep it looks like it says in la relieve relive the action pack seg 3 la in just 90 seconds now can you spot yourself so I, of course i mentioned this in my previous videos last week for those who have not seen that if you want to check that out because we do have the pog nft who is incorporated into that and that's as much as i'll say so you guys can watch that video last week but you can see that theta network logo there on the bottom left of the sponsors for this i haven't seen too many of the Theta partners incorporated on this quick advertisement, but I'm sure if there's going to be other type of videos out there, I'm sure there's going to be more incorporating for the Pogs, especially because it sounded like that NFT project was impressive for those who are in attendance to actually watch that type of presentation. But that is all I really have for today's video, guys. Thank you so much. If you're an OG viewer and subscriber, I would not be here without you guys. Really greatly appreciate it. I can't say it enough. Definitely comment down below if you have any other thoughts and comments about this video or anything you want to see in the near future. If you're a new viewer and you haven't yet, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button. 
If you're trying to find a smudge data news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of data partnerships, check out that Imagine Replay referral link. If you're trying to earn as much TNT20 token, I'll put that referral code down below so you can earn some free tokens. As well, if you want to help out the Theta network itself, check out the Guardian node page right here, the QR code, and then the Elite Edge node right here. So for the Guardian node, if you want to stake your Theta tokens, the Elite Edge node, if you want to stake your T fuel, either way, you'll earn T fuel passively by just staking the tokens that are in your wallet. It really helps out my channel, my vision for Theta Network, and it overall helps out the Theta Network project and also helps you out if you think about it because you're earning T fuel passively, which could be used for transactions between chains and who knows what other projects that are going to be partnering with Theta in the near future. But like I said, guys, that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much. Looking forward to the next Theta update, the next Theta video. But until then, it is your boy, Justin Bassetti. So try to keep up. Hi, deuces.